here in Phoenix, Arizona at Iron Boy 20. Man, it's, you know, I, I saw you go, go down the stairs, man, and I, and I thought I saw Mayweather face. And uh, sure enough, you know, it's Jeff Mayweather. It's good to have you here. Um, you're here supporting uh, Darren Williams. Uh, what, what do you have to say about him? Well, I mean, I'm uh, glad to be a part of it. And um, like I said, this is just this is the first step of you know a long journey, and I think that it's going to be a very successful journey. Now, um, how'd you even how'd you uh, come in contact with Darren? Um, well, I'm, um, through his coach. Um, they came to Vegas, worked out a little bit, and uh, I worked with him a little bit as well. And um, like I said, the relationship beyond just to him, it's not really so much about the fighters, which is, you know, um, me, and the, me and the coach is a great relationship also. And uh, of course, anything that he wants me to help him with, you know, be a part of, you know, I will. Now, what do you, what do you see something in Darren that you don't see in other fighters that, that stands out? Um, you know, bigger than, than than if you were just a you know a fighter just come into your gym and want to want want to be trained by you. Well, I mean, I think that um, what I seen with this kid is that he was very confident. He had tremendous belief in himself, and um, and that's what you want. That's what you want to see coming from a young fighter. And I mean, not only that, his amateur speaks for itself. Yeah, and definitely, I, he definitely has a confident down, man. Right when when I interviewed him yesterday. It was like a, a, a little Adrian Broner, man. He even sounds like him a little bit, man. Uh, definitely has the confidence down, and that's a key. You know, when you're a fighter, you got to believe in yourself, and he does. Um, you know, I got to ask you this question. Uh, you know, your nephew, Wade Mayweather, is fighting in seven days. Yeah. Saturday, May, May 2nd. Um, how is how's preparation so far um, for that fight? Training camp's been great. And, um, ready to go. Yeah, and he said he's taking um, things back to basics, you know, he was chopping up wood. And what other things has he gone back to, you know, he said he's, he's doing things a lot that, he's been, that he did in, earlier in his career. What other things has, has he, is he working on? Well, I mean, I think, I think one of the things is that he, you know, he also added a strength trainer, which actually was Manny's strength trainer. So, you know, that's some psychological warfare as well. You know, knowing that this guy knows everything about you. Um, but most importantly, you know, uh, he's doing what he's always been doing. Right? When something's not broken, there's no need to be fixing it. So, I got him on me. I said, I think he just added a few little things because he wanted to be a little stronger this time out. And this is the first time he's going to be fighting a guy that's smaller than him. So, I mean, he's, he's worked very hard. And, of course, in the fight being, you know, five years in the making, of course, he wants to be impressive and he wants to, you know, shut up all the haters. And I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, definitely. I was talking to Zab Judah at the BKB um, two weekends ago, man. He says, man, Mayweather's serious about this fight. He's never wanted to uh, win a fight so bad in his life. And um, I think just as the way he, he's been training, it just speaks for itself. I think so. Um, Jeff, uh, any last message you want to give to um, any of your uh, family members that are, you know that just love you and support you as a, as a, as a boxing coach? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't know if I have to say it to our family members. Maybe our friends. A, maybe I have a few fans and friends out there yeah. that uh, you know that I, that are strongly support support me and. Uh, you know, I like to say thanks to you, you know, to, to them for the support and, um, and watching me on my journey as well as a trainer going from, you know, from the beginning, hopefully to the end of my career. You go, Jeff Mayweather here in Phoenix, Arizona, and Iron Boy 20. Um, I'm, I'll see you in Vegas next week, man. I'm gonna fly over there. I'm not gonna be at the fight, but I'll be around. If I catch you, I'll say hi to you. Okay. And uh, man, thank you for this interview, also. All right.